Let's talk about digital transformation strategies and developing and implementing a plan. So there's no doubt, as we've learned in other lessons, digital transformation has become crucial for the success of any organization. The businesses that embrace digital transformation will thrive, while those that don't will be left behind. We've learned that. But in this lesson, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into developing and implementing a digital transformation strategy. And as a manager um, and a manager looking to become more successful, you need to get to grips uh, with these topics. Now, digital transformation is more than just technology. It's more than just switching on new systems. It's about transforming the entire business to become more agile, more innovative, and more customer-centric. And the managers have to lead by example. Digital transformation must be driven by business goals and objectives, not just by chasing the latest technology trends or what you heard um, in a talk or on a course or on a website. You must take some steps. And the first one is developing a digital transformation strategy in which you assess the current state of your organization. So this includes identifying your strengths, your weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats in the context of digital disruption. You should also conduct a technology audit to understand the current technology landscape within your organization, what you actually have at the moment. And once you've got that clear understanding of your current state by following that step, you can then define your future state. And this includes identifying your vision, your objectives, and the goals for digital transformation. And consultants can help you with this, and experts can support a collective, collaborative process of doing that, which involves all stakeholders in this process to ensure that everyone is aligned and can contribute and is committed to the transformation. So you've got your current state, your future state, and then your next step is develop a roadmap to achieve that vision. And the roadmap must include a timeline, a budget, and some sort of allocation of resources as part of that plan. And early on, you should identify quick wins that can be achieved in the short term, and that will build momentum and demonstrate the value of digital transformation, especially at the early stage when it's the most important uh, time to start getting some credibility as part of the journey. But it's all got to have strong leadership. It's got to have strong communication and change management skills. And that's why you're doing this course, because leaders must set the tone. They must lead by example, as well as empower employees to drive the innovation and creativity that you're expecting from them. And communication through all of this, so critical to ensure that everyone stays informed, engaged, and aligned. And then change management, don't forget, is also essential to help employees adapt to new ways of working and overcome any resistance or barriers to change like we've spoken about in other lessons. So, in conclusion, digital transformation it's a complex process that requires careful planning, execution, and continuous improvement. And it's not just about implementing new technologies, but it's rather about transforming the entire organization to become more agile, more innovative, and more customer-centric. And as we've been through now in this lesson, by following these steps, you and your organization can actually be successful in developing and implementing a digital transformation strategy for your business.